Hello guys and welcome back Hi. to another video today which we are gonna visit an abandoned villa Volta <laughs> No, yeah, Volta. House Fuling <laughs> In Germany, first time Yes, tell us what happened there Someone uh, committed suicide here who was only 19 years old He hanged himself and another person was killed They're here during the second world war So yeah Let's go guys. So it's very grim. <laughs> yep. Let's see. We have to walk a bit in the forest, as you can see. See this? <laughs> ah. Well definitely how others make it easy for me to <laughs> Oh man, I never did a villa yet. Okay, that one's pretty close. Whoa, the building is bigger than I thought. Oh, even some planks. Not a... Okay, not so lovely plants. I was gonna say, <laughs> roll out the red carpet. Oh no. Oh no. Lots of icky plants. Okay. And a little plant. Why? And there we Alright, <laughs> we found it! <laughs> you have to do a little clamp. Now yeah, the door is open. There's more here. Check that out in a second. So, I guess many people come here. Huh? I guess many people come here. Yeah, look at all the art. Yeah. Is it art? You need a flashlight? That in Duel was art. This is not. Captain <laughs> <laughs> the flashlight. Although we have a light now on the camera. But you know, always handy to have an extra one. Right. Jack! Is this the famous road? I don't know, but no. electricity, but... No, he said electricity. Apparently there's a rope here. Maybe and that rope, I don't know if it's still here, but... The rope the person hanged himself to death. Oh damn. <laughs> Stairs kinda died. House Fulling was built in 1888 as a summer residence for the family Oppenheim. The land was bought in 1884 and they sold the place in 1907 to a new owner. The villa has several names like Ghost House, Geister House. Um, or murder house, murder house, but uh, among the old, the airbags community, the lost place community, it's known as House Fuhlinger, or after the original family, Villa Oppenheim. The and the villa, has, the villa has quite a bloody past to it. It all started in 1288 with a battle of Boringer, which resulted in a bloody massacre in which around a thousand people died. Many years later, in 1943, the Gestapo took the life of a 19-year-old boy from Poland named Edward Margul. They hanged him in, the old, in an old brickwork near the villa. 
The poor boy was a forced labourer and it was said he was highly falsely accused by the farm's tenant or it was because he had fallen in love with a daughter and the Gestapo could not have that. Could he now? Um, many people claim they have seen the boy through the years and that he haunts the villa, but we can't know for sure because we haven't seen it ourselves. Um, the place has a lot of folklore and because there are many deaths to it, but his story is the most famous one. The next step was in 1962 when a Nazi judge who lived there with his wife decided to take his own life in the villa. Some say his wife continued to live there for many years, while there are other accounts that it was put by the city itself. The city is also responsible for the riding hall and the side halls being demolished in the 70s. It is known that the wife passed away in a nursing home in 2000 though. Which brings us to the next odd case. While constructing at the house back in the 70s, two guys were mysteriously walled in. Till this day no one knows how, how that could have possibly happened. The last step would be in 2007 when a man was found dead inside the villa. Not much knows that much knows that not much known about it, sorry. But yeah, it's a cold case and very mysterious. I did hear children found him, but we cannot be sure. In 2004, the villa was sold again to several private owners who did not much to do with property. And uh, not much has been done actually since 1964. They did make many plans like turning it into a luxurious uh, residence that was in 2017, but all the plans have been discontinued. Now, now it's no longer possible to buy the property and to even build there. Uh, it's, it's even being removed from the listing of buildings, uh, from the listing of monuments. The previous owner also didn't care much about it and the building permit has been expired. So now it's called a landscape conservation area, meaning it belongs to nature. They could demolish the place, but that's very unlikely. And it's the most perfect haunted spot for many people. The village does find an eyesore. Um, it's a shell of, a form, of its former self, suffering much destruction, and um, it has a very dark path. So if it was up to the people, it would probably be demolished. But I don't think that will happen anytime soon. I hope I really wonder what you guys think. Please let me let us know in the comments. And uh, if you want to read more about this place, please go find the book The Totem von Haus Fuhlingen, uh, which means the death of Haus Fuhlingen. We are also going to read it. It is in German, but well, it would be just nice to learn some German, wouldn't it? Because the main stairs inside the house, as you saw, fully collapsed. And we saw pictures of two months ago, and then those stairs were like perfectly fine. Like, how fast did that collapsed? I don't know. More steel door, more doors. Ouch! 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 Dorn City, Dorn House. I wonder if, what they mean with outside you can climb. Obviously. Outside you can climb. Outside. Now this is the hole we saw. We were just there. I'm not sure where we can find right now. So I found the top. Thanks for some help.
It's the second floor though. I won't film the people. I'm very happy. The rooftop. <laughs> yeah, we can go further, so I'm not sure I'm gonna do that. It's the outside. Good luck. I bought it down. Climbing level plus 100. And the kids went up there like that. It's a crazy climb. to get further so a bit risky So, hello guys, <laughs> back. We are done with the villa. I hope you enjoyed. Couldn't do the top uh, floor because uh, the climbing was a bit uh, too intense. And I fell down. And risky. <laughs> I fell a floor down too, but that's okay. <laughs> Someone did help. <laughs> it was very slippery. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So thank you a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. We wish you a beautiful day. And we, we will see you next time, guys. Yes, thank you for watching. <laughs> bye bye. We found us an old church, but we can't go inside, but we will try to show you what we can't show you. As you can see, people are praying there, so it's not polite to go in there. But Look how beautiful this is. Very old door. Jesus. A window. It's absolutely stunning. So I was someone there, but here you can see. Look at those doors. The artwork. The artwork is beautiful. 
I will still turn the door, but yeah. What is the sound street? This Jesus, if you can see. She'll also walk around it. Here's a Tudor sound on it. And I don't know what's there, but still. The, the one to show you. Tudor stuff. This must be very old. Yeah, so you can see another old door there. Yeah, I shall show you something first because it's quite special as you can see well, it's a bit messy but there used to be a door here see I should also try to show you the front, but it's a bit crowded, but as you can see, that's, that's the treasure part of the, the church, there, they keep their treasures there, so I think the camera is the rest of the front. 